You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, according to my first guest, no more dentures. Uh, we're, we're discussing replacing missing teeth with dental implants. With us, we have an expert on this topic, Dr. Kanawati. Dr. Kanawati, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me, Randy. Now, uh, I have lots of questions, and, and you've got some dramatic before and after, so we'll, we'll get to show some of those. For people that don't know your center, that know Clear Choice, yes. Uh, who's the typical patient? What are the different services you offer? So uh, Clear Choice is a group of uh, highly trained uh, specialists that really focus and are experts in replacing missing teeth. Now, our you know typical patients, let's say, um, we can group them into two basic groups. Uh, patients who have uh, lost their teeth already and, and th they're wearing dentures and they're suffering with the dentures. And the other group uh, of patients are... Uh, realize that they are going to be missing their teeth and they're going to lose their teeth and they don't want to go the path of a denture uh, because they understand how debilitating it could be. Uh, our basic services basically, uh, in a nutshell, we replace dentures with fixed permanent teeth. And for the other group of people, we prevent having them to deal with dentures and going through that route. At the top uh, of the show, we said no more dentures. Is that the future of dentistry? Absolutely. In the future is today, basically. The dentures need to be attached to something. The problem with dentures, the, the old-fashioned dentures, is that they're not attached to anything. They sit on gums. And the harder you bite down, the more you press on your gums, the more they hurt, and they're just simply uncomfortable. One of the things that I see it on your advertisements and when I look at the website, people can walk in without teeth on the day of the procedure yes. and walk out with teeth that don't come in and out. Absolutely. Is that right? Absolutely. It's almost like instant gratification, instant results. Now, we have to... Uh, uh, we have to work up the patient, you know, get and talk to them about what their smile, what, they, what their vision in their smile is, what they want their smile to look like, take the appropriate molds and get ready for that big day. But once that big day comes in, in one day, they come in and they leave a completely different individual. Well, if it's so good, by the way, getting dental implants, and we'll talk about the denture wares for a moment. If it's so good where you can just attach them to dental implants, why aren't they all doing it? People who have been suffering for, with dentures uh, for the longest time and just have dentures, they, they don't have teeth, and they, they've stopped going to the dentist. Uh, there's just no more dental visits. And, and uh, this is relatively new technology, and they, they just don't know that these options exist. A lot of these patients have been told that they don't have enough bone, implants are not for them, and they've just given up hope and just have settled into their existing situation. Another reason is cost. And based on what people think, they think that there has to be an implant per tooth. And that can be very, very costly. And the way we do it now, we only need four titanium roots, four anchors uh, to hold the, all of the teeth from molar to molar, basically. So four implants, you get a full arch of teeth. Absolutely. So think of it as a four-legged chair. It's a very solid situation. You put the four anchors in strategic positions and everything attaches to them. But isn't it true that if you've been wearing dentures for like 30 years, that you can't get this done? Is that, is that the only problem? That means you don't have enough bone. You know, Randy, all the time we get patients who have been wearing dentures for 10, 20, and, and 30 years. How old can you be to do this? R Randy, there's no age limit. Uh, we had a 98-year-old patient who went through this procedure. 98? 98. Why she, would a 98-year-old want to do this? She was sick and tired of not being able to eat. When okay. her grandparents came, when, when her uh, grandkids uh, uh, came in, uh, they would bring food, they would have uh, family reunions, and and she would only pick at the mashed potatoes or you know just the soft foods and it got to a point where it was literally affecting her, her health because if you think about the, the softer foods that we have available to us they are the most processed and with all the health uh, you know awareness out there and, and the healthier foods really require you to be able to, to chew them and she was just sick and tired of not being able to eat so 98 years old and uh... What, is, what do they say when it's all done? It's like you're talking to a completely different person. Uh, they've, uh, one patient told me uh, that she felt like she was building a wall, an invisible wall in front of her. Uh, she couldn't talk to people. She couldn't smile at them. And, and she was hiding herself. 
And within the week when they come back, uh, they've completely changed. They're able, they, that wall has been broken down. Uh, they, they're able to smile and talk comfortably to people. And um, it's just lived life more comfortably. They're able to eat. Uh, what couldn't they eat? I mean, when it's all done, they're healed up. There's really no limitations. You can eat an apple. You can bite into a carrot, salads. Uh, during the healing process, we do ask them to maintain a softer diet wh while everything heals. But after the healing process is done, it's... I mean, it. they could bite like a corn of the cob with their a front teeth? Absolutely. So it Absolutely. doesn't matter. These are anchored teeth to the implants that do not come out. I have a patient who was explaining to them to me. He felt like his teeth were bolted on. <laughs> you know, so he was a you know he was a millwright, a machinist, and uh, he loved his bolted-on teeth. That's how he explained that it to right? him. Yes. So in a few appointments, right? Yes. They can. They're ready to go. Absolutely. So somebody watching this, they visit your place. I guess you get imaging things like that. Correct. If everything works out right, it could be just a couple of visits. Absolutely. Two or three visits. Yes. We're gonna take a quick break. We come back. Uh, some of these photos that you brought. Uh, you're watching the Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. America is getting more and more beautiful every day. Smiles are brighter, confidence is higher, outlooks on life are improving daily. Why? Because people are calling or going online to schedule an appointment at Clear Choice Dental Implant Centers. Clear Choice is leading America's smile freedom movement. And it all starts with that first call or click. Schedule today, and your consultation will include a 3D CT scan. It's time to put caps, crowns, bridges, dentures, and gum disease in your past and let your true self shine into the future. Don't hide your smile another day. Join the thousands who have set their smiles free. Call or go online now. Let's make America more beautiful, one smile at a time. Okay, so a consult somebody wearing false teeth or somebody that is trying to avoid false teeth, they sit in front of you, what do they wanna know? What are their questions? The first question is, do I have enough bone? Because so many people have been told, you don't have bone, you're not a candidate, so can you help me? That's, that's the number one question is, can you help me? They, they're, 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 they're sick and tired of not able to eat, smile, talk to people, and, and you know, when they sneeze, they're always holding back, they're afraid that denture's gonna shoot out, uh, we had a, a couple of patients who were uh, skydivers and motorcycle enthusiasts, and they've had uh, uh, uncomfortable situations where their dentures have moved around during their activities, and, and they want help, and that's their number one question is, can you help me? Okay, good. So no more dentures. That's no true. More, no more dentures. But correct. what if you, now back to the people that are trying to avoid false teeth, because you meet a lot of these people, yes. right? Their mouth's a mess. Yes. You told me on the phone they haven't been to the, de the dentist maybe in 15 years. Isn't it true, though, if you have bad gums, how are you able to get dental implants? What feeds that gum disease is the teeth. Um, once the teeth come out, the gum disease is gone because there's nothing feeding that gum disease. Okay. The best analogy I can give you is uh, if you have a splinter in the palm of your hand and it's been in there for a long time. It starts out, and this is the skin is a form, gums are a form of skin, so it's the same process, and, and people who've experienced gum disease will know what I'm talking about. First, you start out with some redness, then there's inflammation, then there's bleeding, and if you let it go long enough, there's pus that comes out, and what's the solution? I can give you antibiotics, I can give you ointments, I can give you alcohol rubs, nothing is going to get rid of that infection until you do what? You pull that splinter out of the palm of your so hand. So when you remove the infection, the gums get healthy? Absolutely. And dental implants can easily go in? Yes. Interesting. Okay, now you brought photos. Yes. Lots of photos. What, what, what do you have for us? Brandy, this is a patient of mine, uh, which her story is very common to many patients that come in. Uh, her teeth had to go. Uh, we did the preliminary workup, and uh, she came in for the big day. Her teeth were removed, the implants were placed, and by the end of the day, she left with a brand new smile. Is that right? Yes. And that's it right there? And that's it. Well, that's the finals, but the, the, there's very little difference between the finals so and the So they get like a temporary set of teeth? Correct. And then these? Yes. 
Very nice. So, Randy, if you, if you look at, uh, you know, Kathy, especially the, the before and after, but focus on the after pictures. L look, at, look at the teeth themselves. Uh, yeah, they look real. They, they, you know, they look like she pretty much grew them herself. Uh, the, <laughs> you know, look at the, the eyes. I, I love talking to people at the one week post-op or when we check up on them after a week of, you know, after the surgery. It's like talking to a completely different individual. Their eyes are more at ease. They're, they're, they're smiling. They're, they're, it's, their lives have changed and they see it and they realize it. And it's full speed ahead to live the life that they have wanted to live. Randy, look at how younger and healthier she looks. You know, that when you look at the teeth. Yeah, she looks younger. When you look at the difference, the, the whole face looks younger, more vibrant, more lively. Uh, and it's just a more pleasant individual to talk to and, and, and get to know. Just like Kathy, most people come in and they, they are in a lot of pain when they try to eat anything chewy, anything crunchy, uh, like an apple or a carrot. Uh, and when we were done, Kathy was able to eat the apples, the carrots, the fresh foods. And Kathy is one of the individuals that is truly health conscious. She's one of the healthiest eaters that uh, you know I know. And she can do that because her teeth are solid, they're sightly, and they're very functional. And how do they, so the maintenance on, on, this, uh, on these teeth is what? We get, that, we get asked that a lot. So the maintenance is you, these are your real teeth. Okay. This is the third set of teeth. You, we had baby teeth, we had, we had adult teeth, and this is the third set of teeth. So just like your real teeth, you brush them, you floss them, and if there's anything extra associated with care with these, there's something called the water pick, and it just basically irrigates and, and rinses everything out after you've but, flushed. And then they have uh, checkups? Of course, of course. So just like, again, just like your real teeth, you have to, uh, you have, to have checkups every six months, you have to have the cleanings every six months, uh, simply put, Randy, these are like your real teeth. Okay, good. Yes. Now, you brought more photos. Yes. What else, what, what else are we looking at? This is a clear choice patient, uh, not a Cleveland clear choice patient, but I, I, I love using his example. When people come in, every single person that comes in is a unique individual. Okay. And has a vision of what their smile, want, what they want their smile to look like, and it's my role to achieve that vision that they want to see and make it a reality. Now, with uh, this patient, you know, he when you look at the before pictures, you look at a very big space, you look at missing and broken down teeth. You know, when you look at the after smile, uh, as a person, as a person, he looks so much more refined. Yes. Uh, very, uh, very professional, uh, happy, uh, sociable, uh, a person that you would feel comfortable uh, going up to and, 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 and starting up a conversation. You know, that's a, that's a young guy. Yes. Right? Are there a lot of young people that are wearing dentures? Like this? It, it's it's amazing. It really so is amazing. Over? Yes, we get people that are as young as 22 or 23 who have had to lose their teeth for different purposes, different reasons, uh, and uh, all the way up to 98. And those teeth look real, by the way. They, and I'm not trying to go on your side here, but the, would another dentist from the outside looking at this, I mean, you wouldn't know that those are, that's like a fixed set of teeth. Like a denture, like a that's fixed in there. Is that it's it's kind of what we're talking about here? It's screwed into place. It's it's anchored into place. Uh, they they don't move. They don't cover the roof of the mouth. They don't gouge the gums. There is zero pressure on the gums when you bite down because everything is anchored by the four replacement titanium roots that are in the bone. Good. Now, for people just tuning in, we're talking about replacing missing teeth with dental implants. Uh, one of the things you mentioned on the phone, you say that. You were doing it the old way, yes. where if somebody was missing teeth, you sent them to somebody else, and then you, it, was a, it was a big process. Uh, then you said, you, then you heard about Clear Choice, and, and you said it was a different kind of a place. Absolutely. Uh, when I heard about Clear Choice, a light bulb went on in, in, my, in my head. This is the way it's supposed to happen. Uh, when you look at the old way we did it, where we sent the patient to this provider and then this provider, they'd come back, we'd send the case out to the, to the lab. And, and the problem is when, uh, you know, the patient's having to meet this group of individuals and then they're having to come back and get to know another group of individuals. And, and with the clear choice system, they come in, 
they meet one group of individuals, uh, they become that group's family. So it's all done right there. It's all done right there. It's the same people, multiple specialists that are working together as a team uh, to make that happen. Uh, let me show you another patient. Randy. All right. Uh, here we have a male patient, um, a pilot, and a very, very active lifestyle. Uh, him and his wife are the most vibrant, lively patients that, that I've come across, across to. Uh, his teeth got to a point where they were so bad, not only the pain was affecting his pilot performance in, in navigating the flights and his not being able to focus on what he's supposed to do, uh, but the unsightly uh, situation of the teeth. They, they didn't look good, and they were, quite frankly, holding him back. And those are his specific words. Uh, his wife and, uh, and himself go to many parties. They, they have many social events. And he felt he was being held back. And, so and those teeth had to go? They, those teeth had to go. Like there was no saving those teeth? No. Look at the before photo. That is not a natural smile. Many patients, when the, the before we do the treatment, we, we take pictures on everybody. Uh, we have to force them to smile. They haven't been able to smile for so long. Um, th when they try to smile, they have to force it. And, and that's what you're looking at here. When you, you look at the after picture, that's a natural <laughs> smile. That's a very white, that's very a nice, lively smile. And, and look at the eyes. There's, there's a certain level of peace and happiness that you see there as opposed to the, the beginning picture. And they don't come in and out. They don't come in and out. These so, are let me do a recap here. So you're wearing a denture. Four implants on the bottom. You get a full arch of teeth. They're locked in. They don't come in and out. Yes. On the upper, how many implants? There? It's also four. But remember, there's no palate. There's no roof. There's nothing covering the roof of the mouth. Like a denture. Like a denture. All right. And, and, and you know, when it comes to tasting foods, uh, we actually have taste buds on the palate and on the tongue, and it's that interaction between the two that causes to, to sense sweet, salty, and, and, and the other senses. When you've covered up the palate, everything tastes bland, and, and, and denture wearers know what I'm talking about, and, and they, they feel that. When, the, when there's nothing covering up the roof of the mouth and it's just the teeth, it, it's so much more comfortable. We're gonna take a quick break. We come back. Uh, more about the process, what to expect on day one. You're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. I do get a lot of compliments about my smile. It makes me feel more self-confident. My teeth just were not healthy. It did change my eating habits. Foods started hurting my teeth, like steak, corn on the cob. This is something I had to do for me. And now I can eat anything I want. I would never consider dentures. I had my consultation with Clear Choice. Join the thousands who've already set their smiles free at Clear Choice. Call or click to schedule your free consultation with our team of experts. Everything was all under one roof. The doctors, the surgeon, prosthodontist, the lab. I walked out of there with the teeth that I wanted, all done in one day. I am extremely happy that I made that investment in me because I know it's going to last me for the rest of my life. My husband loves them and I will always have the smile. Always. <laughs> Don't wait another day. Call Clear Choice now. Let me show you this next patient. All right. Uh, this individual is a, a lively, happy guy. Uh, he has been told, he was told uh, many years ago that he's going to lose his teeth and in his mind there was no way he's going to lose his teeth so he waited for as long as he could. The situation got so bad that the teeth were starting to start to move, to shift, to become loose and he realized that something needed to happen. So I heard about Clear Choice. You heard about Clear Choice. Because you guys have a lot of advertising. Well, they see you, is that how they normally come to see you? Correct, and, and the reason behind that is there's so many people have no idea that there's a solution to, their, to, to, okay. to the challenges that they're perceiving with these dentures or with the teeth. And it, what we're trying to do is to let these people know that there are options out there and they don't have to uh, suffer from this. So what they, what'd you do for this guy? So we, we ended up replacing all of his teeth uh, and of course redesigning the smile 
that first appointment where we sit together, we discuss about what he's looking for in the smile. If he's looking for super white teeth, if he's looking for that Hollywood smile, if he's looking for a natural smile, I need to get all of that information from every unique patient so I can deliver what they're looking for, what their vision and their smile should be. What we did for him is replace his teeth with a cosmetic result and uh, relieve him of the stresses that he's been dealing with that knowing he's going to be losing his teeth. So when we were done, he's able to smile freely, smile it's comfortably. It's a good looking smile, it's by the way. It's a good looking <laughs> smile, yes. Uh, I'm, I, it's a very natural smile. It fits his personality. He's a very fun individual, very lively, uh, just all energy. And the smile was designed to fit his personality. Let me show you a patient here. He came in with a lot of failed dentistry, a lot of crowns, a lot of uh, treatment that was done to the teeth. And, and of course, you know, every time you replace a filling, every time you replace a crown, you're taking down more tooth structure. And he got to a point where the teeth were just not able to hold anything else. And as a result of all this dentistry he's had, it has gotten to be unsightly for him and it has started to affect his life. Uh, actually started to affect, uh, you know, social, uh, issues and, and, and having to meet people, smiling at people, with work, with colleagues, and we ended up replacing uh, the teeth with permanent fixed teeth that don't come out. And look at a smile afterwards. Uh, it's a very natural smile that basically looks like he grew the teeth himself. <laughs> Yeah, so you call it uh, the third set of teeth, yes. dental implants. Yes. So is this the hottest thing in dentistry right now? It, it is. You know, we, we're trained to try to save teeth for so long, and after a certain point, you have to be able to cut your losses because you can only save teeth for so long. You have to realize that at some point in time, that if the teeth have been ground on or, or filled so many times that they're going to fail, and this is the third set of teeth. That, okay, good. That I'm talking about. Now, for the dentures, talk. what are their options if they go in your practice? What are the options? The options is to get rid of the denture once and for all. Uh, we replace the dentures with teeth that are fixed and attached to the implants that don't come out, that don't cover the roof of the mouth, that don't move around, and they're permanent. There are some dentists that do a lot of snap-in, snap-out, attached to dental implants. Yes. What are your thoughts there? Uh, well, those are called snap-on dentures, and they're... Definitely nicer than traditional dentures, but they carry all the issues with traditional dentures. When you eat and chew, if you're eating a raspberry and you get a little raspberry seed that sneaks in underneath the denture, I had a patient tell me that it felt like a pebble in her shoe. And of course, at that point in time, and, and again, denture wearers understand what I'm talking about here. When they do that, they have to excuse themselves from the dinner table, or if they're at a restaurant with a group of people, they have to leave go to the bathroom, take their teeth out, whether they're snapped on teeth or regular or just, you know, traditional dentures, they still have to take them out. They still have to rinse them and put everything back in and, and continue their meal. Uh, they still have to take them out at night. How difficult it, is it to take out your teeth, to take your teeth out of your face every single night before you go to bed? I had a patient who told me that she felt old every single time she took the teeth out. Uh, and she didn't want to deal with that anymore. And when she found out the, the, the potential solution that we could offer her with teeth that don't come out, that's the way she went. Okay, so you so a clear choice. You like the fixed set of teeth. Teeth that don't come in and out. Absolutely. No snap in, snap out. Because it's only two more implants. I guess two implants snap in, snap out. Yeah. Four implants, you get a fixed set of teeth. So logically, it sounds like... I mean, that's what people want, right? Absolutely. It's fixed teeth, not... Do they feel like their own teeth? Like when they're out? Do they eat like a steak? They, they do. And, and it's, it truly is an amazing transformation that, that happens in one day. Now, when it, let's go back to the snap-on denture thing. You're having surgery done. You're putting implants in. Why not build something that's retained onto those implants as opposed to still deal with a denture that snaps in and snaps out? It's a very, very different... You know, one feels unnatural and one feels as close to natural teeth as you can get. Randy, do you have time for one more patient? Yes, yes. Okay, so uh, this is Mark. Mark unfortunately had a, wow. a traumatic accident uh, to his teeth when he was a young kid. And over the years, he ended up losing his teeth. And, this, and Mark 
has been done, I want to say, about five years ago. So he's been running around with his new smile, his, his, his anchored smile, uh, for over five years now. And he waited a long time before he did something because he knew he didn't want to be in dentures, and he knew there had to be a better solution. So when he ran across ClearChoice many years ago, he knew that that was it. And he came in, we helped him out, got him a new smile, and he doesn't have to worry about taking teeth in and out anymore. You say you're transforming people's lives. Uh, yes. You believe that? I do. You see it? Every single day. And it starts with that little twinkle in the eyes when they see that mirror at the end of the day. You, you have to understand, for people who have unsightly teeth or have just the teeth have just broken down to a point and they're living with that situation every single day and they're not able to smile and not able to talk to people and they truly are being held back, they come in that morning in that condition. And at the end of the day, we give them the mirror and it's a completely different face. <laughs> it's a completely Good. different, you know, it's a completely different person. And there's a twinkle in their eyes <laughs> that, that when they look at the mirror, they realize that this is the first day of the rest of their life. They don't have to, th th that <laughs> wall that they built up in front of them, that social wall, that's all broken and they realize it. And I have to tell you, that's, our, that's, that's the funnest, most exciting part of the day. The entire staff comes in. They want to see that. That's the recharge <laughs> that we get for the next day. And of, you know, a lot of times there, it is emotional, uh, you know, especially with uh, the, the wives or the husbands of the patients. And they've seen that individual um, uh, change over the years, and 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 their personality, and, and their outgoingness, and 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 all they they've they've seen it. They've seen them suffer throughout the years, not being able to eat, not being able to smile. And in one day, literally, just like that, it's all over, and they can live their lives how they feel like they want to live them. Now, we're out of time. Okay. In your area, there's tens of thousands of people with an upper lower denture. Yes. And are, do you feel like if, if, if it was like a test drive in a car, that if they got a chance to try it out for the weekend, that they would all do it? That means they couldn't go back to their loose-fitting denture. Do you believe that? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, do people say, I should have done this years ago? Absolutely. There's so many people who have lived with dentures, who have not even been able to eat what they want to eat, not even been able to, to go the, the you know, active lifestyle that they want to. Their dentures have been holding them back, and, and they wonder, why did I wait all this time? <laughs> do they ever tell you that? I mean, they actually tell you that? So many people. You know, they say, I wish I didn't wait for so long. I wish I knew about you guys sooner, and my life is so different now, and it's, it's, it's amazing. But for people, now, uh, we're at the end here. Yeah. Obviously, somebody's watching this. They're a denture wearer. Maybe they're afraid of the dentist. I say come in. You owe it to yourself to come in and see what we can do for you, how we can help you. You'll, you'll get to meet me. We'll do the CT scan. We'll do the imaging. And you and I will talk uh, specifically about your specific situation and how we can best help you okay, to great. get rid of that denture once and for all. All right. Thank you all for right. coming to the show. Absolutely. Great stuff. Great Absolutely. info. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.